On most days, the Great Miami River slips through Hamilton, Ohio. But much of the footage in this story was taped last May 24th, when the river was dangerously high. He was just part of me. Part of me was in that water, fighting. He was just fighting for his life. Heavy rains had swollen the river to twice its size. As it churned over the nearly completed dam, it looked like a white water ride to Paulette Chandler's son, David, and his best friend, Rodney Jones. I thought it was going to be easy. I didn't have no idea what we was getting into. I paddled straight out to the middle. We were yelling and stuff. We was having a blast. And then we started going towards the dam. We was just paddling and paddling and paddling. Police and fire dispatch, operator Shoemaker. A call came in to 911 at 423. Two male juveniles in a raft. They've just gone down the dam. One of them's still in the raft, and the second one is in the water. Rodney had been incredibly lucky. When the raft flipped over, he was dragged 70 feet underwater by the powerful currents at the base of the dam, then pushed clear. But David was trapped. He could only try to hold on. Fireman Jim Reinheimer was one of the first paramedics on the scene. The whole situation was desperate. To be stuck in the middle of a, of a raging river with uh, no ideas and uh, not the proper equipment is, is a very desperate situation. Only one in now. The engineer, Crane, his crane only goes out 80 feet, and he said it's about 300 foot out. All the ideas we were coming up with were, were being you know, shot down because they wouldn't work. We couldn't get a boat in there because of the current. We couldn't bring them upstream because of the uh, turbine in the water. The crane was out because it was too short. Couldn't get a rope out to him. It's a feeling of helplessness that, uh, that someone is, uh, someone's going to die very shortly for really for no reason other than the fact that you can't get him off the river, that you can't, you can't do anything about it. Channel 9 called and said that they were monitoring us and did we need a helicopter. And I said, yes. Could you send us your helicopter right away? We have a boy out there that the sergeant had just said he's not going to be able to hold on much longer. It took us about 15 minutes to respond from the time he told us to. What we could see right away, of course, the boy was stuck in the middle of the river, and uh, he was being jostled pretty good. If he would have let go of that raft, I felt that he could have hit the concrete dam and possibly just, he would have drowned instantly, I think. Jim Reinheimer, the other paramedic that was there, he suggested taking the uh, aerial belt, lowering that down to him on a rope, letting the boy grab onto that, and then taking the rope over and drop it to shore and then pull him out. I heard him screaming in the river, and uh, at that point, I, I knew he was very, he was near panic. I, I mean, I knew we had to do something to get him off there. We need to get this helicopter going to get it up and to get something down to him. It would just be a body floating in the river. To try to uh, lower a rope right to a person in a river is not as easy as it might seem. The problem I had, I could not see the boy once I got over the top of him because I couldn't look out my window. Because if I, if I moved over too far, then I could see him, then the rope was too far away. We were all aware that he was near exhaustion, and that if he fell off of the raft, there would be no way he would live. Bill maneuvered the helicopter upriver just a little bit, and the idea, all he had to do was get in line with, with, the, uh, with the victim in the river. And then when he was right in line, it was to drop the weight in the water at just the right time so it would flow in the river to him.
His body temperature was uh, 92 degrees, which is uh, pretty severe. He was uh, in lactic acidosis, which can cause all kinds of problems because you have a heart attack. Even a young adult like that could have a heart attack and his heart just quit beating or start fibrillating. But at that point, there's not really much we could do. He needed to be heated up properly and got into a hospital. David and Rodney are still best friends as they have been since kindergarten, but they don't go out on the river anymore. I thought that I was dead because there wasn't no way anybody could get me out of the river. The water was just, it was just pushing me. It was unreal. These flashbacks get to me because it scared me bad. It just made me feel bad that, that I couldn't be there to, to let him know that somebody was there that really loved him. I mean, I might have done more harm. I don't know if I'd been there. But at least he would have known Mom's there. It was just the ultimate terror. And that fireman, he, he done a rest. Without him, I would have drowned. Next. 